Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I want to show you how to make rectangles from a collision layer in a given TMX file. Okay, let's start with a tiled and a short view into my test level layout. This layout was made only by use of these brown and blue tiles of my tile set. Now let's use my defined rule set to this layout. And finally we are getting a ground layer and a collision layer. Ground layer, collision layer. Let's save this and open the TMX file to check this. Okay, we have our ground layer here and our collisions layer here. Back to tiled and as we can see here, there are many, many tiles in the collision layer, all of size 60 by 60 pixels. And if we want to use this collision layer to check for collisions in our game, you can use either a mask or a set of rectangles made from this layer. Now we want to use rectangles. But if we build a rectangle for every single tile in the collision layer, we end up with a huge set of rectangles. And every single rectangle of this list must be checked for a collision with our player sprite, for example. But there is a better way to build much less rectangles from a given collision layer and the solution is the usage of a method called simplify from the PyTMX module. This method needs a list of all starting points of our tiles defined in the collision layer as a first parameter. The second and third parameters are the width and height of a single tile. Remember, every tile in this example has a size of 60 by 16, 16 by 16 pixels. Let me show you in practice. First, we have to load our PyTMX um, module and import the method simplify. In my ground mask class, I load the TMX file and read in the data of the collision layer. In a for loop, we are get the X and Y position of every single tile in the layer and put them into a list of points. Finally, if we have all points collected, we call the method simplify with all needed parameters. Um, don't worry about this source code here, uh, it can be removed later and serves only for testing here. Okay, let's show you what we get. As a result, we are getting this. What we can see here is there are bigger rectangles and therefore much less rank rectangles to check for a collision. Let's jump around. Okay. Let's put our rectangles together with the collision mask and we can see all fits well. Our rectangles and the collision mask 
built from the collision layer. All is fine. Okay. And as a last check, we are putting our rectangles together with our ground or terrain layer. And, and we are getting this and can see all fits well here too. Jump around. And land. Okay, that's all for today. Hope it was a bit useful. Thanks for watching and see you and goodbye.